Hello, Hex Spawn. <laughs> I got a little close that time. Would you please leave me alone? I need to find Jason. Let's play again. <laughs> All right, guys, I had a little bit of time left before I head out on the last leg of my adventure to finish filming at least one Spirit Halloween store in every state across America. I have five left, guys. Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, Alaska, and Hawaii. Are we going to do it? Stick around and find out. But for now, we are back at the North Canton Spirit Halloween. And since there is a Friday the 13th, in October this year, we are here today to do everything Jason Voorhees, AKA Friday the 13th. And the last time I was here, I only had like 10 stickers with me, so I promised I would bring more back. I brought an entire bag. So if you came in here looking for stickers and you couldn't find any, now you can come back and they will definitely have some. Holy crap, guys, before we get started, look at what I just spied on these windows here. There's one here, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one on each of the doors out here. It says Spirit Halloween Trick or Treat, Saturday, October 21st, 5 to 7 p.m trick-or-treat at your favorite Halloween store, meaning Spirit Halloween. Kids costume contest at 6 p.m. Prizes for winners. Vote on your favorite employee costume. So much fun. It's scary. Okay, that is awesome. And props to the person who drew all these little flyers. Look at, oh crap, come on. Look at the ghosts and goblins on it. Can you please move Mr. In sign? Look at the ghosts and goblins on this one. And here's one with a spooky bat. And again, guys, yes, you can come down here and trick or treat October 21st, five to seven. This is the North Canton location on the Strip. Look at this one here. We have the Spirit Hollows Cemetery gate with a couple of spooky pumpkins. And this spooky one here, look at this pumpkin face, crap. <laughs> Every time I try to film it, this thing catches me. It opens the door, and the giant spirit sign goes right over what I'm trying to show you. I gotta hold real still here so you can see it. Okay, here we go. Spooky pumpkins, spooky cornfield, spooky scarecrow. Okay. <laughs> Oh, of course! Now it doesn't move! What the heck? Thanks a lot, Jack! Okay, guys, here we go. Today it's gonna be everything Friday the 13th inside this particular Spirit Halloween store. Let's just begin right here with the t-shirts. Do we have any Friday the 13th t-shirts? I don't think we do, actually. Friday the 13th... Jason, okay, right here, here we go. I wish it was Friday. Well, you get your wish today. And here's another one. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. Man, for a minute, I didn't think we were gonna find a shirt. Okay, here we go. We're going down every aisle to try to find everything Jason Voorhees, AKA Friday the 13th. Now we all know they have the costumes and the shirts and things like that. So we'll go ahead and just start right here. First, we have the Camp Crystal Lake hockey jersey. Now there's another one down here we're gonna look at in a minute, but this one is a little bit different. It just says Camp Crystal Lake on the front. Here's the Jason Voorhees woven work shirt. Here's the Jason Voorhees dress. That actually looks pretty cool. Camp Crystal Lake counselor outfit. I love this. <laughs> I was pretty sure they had an outfit like this for dudes too. We got the Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th machete here. Black one with blood splatter on it. We have the machete and mask combo, which is pretty dang cool. If you buy the combo, it's $24.99 for the mask and the machete. If you buy the machete itself, it's $12.99. And then the mask itself is $16.99. So you are definitely saving money if you actually go with the combo over for buying them separately. And that is a pretty cool looking mask too. I, I usually don't like just the plain plastic masks, but that one actually works really good. We have this mask prop replica, if I can get it off of here. That one is almost the same thing, only it's a lot thicker. It's a lot more quality. Did I buy this, guys? 
It seems to me that I may have bought this and I have it somewhere, probably in my storage unit or something. They have one more mask and it's this one right here, which is actually like a full head rubber mask. And this front mask actually lifts up to expose that disgusting face. We got the Friday the 13th beanie here with the embroidered Jason mask. That's pretty cool. Friday the 13th hat with the embroidered Jason mask and machetes and blood splatter. And then this one here, Camp Crystal Lake. This is pretty cool. Friday the 13th embroidered on the back. And let's not forget the Friday the 13th hairbrush. <laughs> That kind of cracks me up, actually. Friday the 13th patches and pins. Those are pretty cool. Crystal Lake to serve and protect. Then we have Jason's mask, Welcome to Camp Blood, and a Camp Crystal Lake life preserver. Friday the 13th press on nails. We have Friday the 13th socks here. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five different kinds in that pack right there. And then here's an individual pack that just has Jason's face on it. And then here's the other jersey I was talking about. A big embroidered uh, hockey mask on there. We turn it around. It says Voorhees 13. Friday the 13th down here. There's a 13 on each arm. That is pretty cool. Here's one that's sort of like the other one that we were looking at in the pack over here. But this one has like the lace up at the top. J Voorhees 13 on the back and the blood splatter. This is kind of like a Hawaiian shirt here with Jason's mask and machetes all over it. Camp Crystal Lake long sleeve t-shirt. Enjoy nature. That's pretty cool. Nothing on the back of that one, but that is a cool picture right there. And then we have a Friday the 13th F13 Jason jacket here. That is really cool. Look at that. Jason's mask with machetes on it. The Friday the 13th logo at the bottom. And I believe that does it for this small section right here. Oh, we do have some other things out here on the end cap. Of course, again, we have this mask, uh, the machete, the nails. Here's another kind of socks. Like these are the ones you'd want to wear if you're going to be the camp counselor. Here's red ones with Jason's face, his mask on it. Oh wait, here's the Camp Crystal Lake socks right here. Those are cool. That is what you'd want to wear with the Camp Crystal Lake counselor outfit. And we've seen everything else on there. All right, let's make our way around. All this stuff is just going to be costumes of other different kinds of characters. What the heck? I haven't seen this in other stores. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossbody bag that is a big slice of pizza. All right, let's not get off track here. We got a Jason picture here under the Deadly Art section. This is all Haunted Mansion stuff here. I got to keep an eye out, though, in every section just in case. Because you never know when something Jason just might pop out. See what I mean? There's stuff like this that you don't think about. Slasher signs. And we have two of them here. Friday the 13th with Jason's mask all the way down. And then Camp Crystal Lake right here. That's a pretty cool one right there. I like that. Guys, have they ever made a Jason sidestepper? I mean, I see we have Leatherface, we have Chucky, we have Ghostface, all kinds of stuff, but I don't remember ever seeing a Jason sidestepper. Here's a Friday the 13th mask light. That is really cool. I love that. That is $29.99 because I know somebody's going to ask me how much that is. And here's a Friday the 13th whirl emotion light. You stick this in your front yard and it projects that onto your house. House. We got Ghostface and Pennywise Horror Babies. I wonder if they'll ever come out with a Jason Horror Baby. Surprisingly, I don't see any flags or door covers or wall decor over here from Friday the 13th. But wait a minute, what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, it's Gremlins. I have never seen this one before. Here we go. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake sign down here among all these other awesome signs. And I see we have a random hockey mask that someone hung here. I am really trying my best to not get it sidetracked by all the awesome animatronics over there. Hello, Dolly. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, I'll stay on track. Hello, Hex Spawn. <laughs> I got a little close that time. Would you please leave me alone? I need to find Jason. All right, I don't see any Jason headstones, but let's keep going this way here. Oh, okay. I do see Jason Friday the 13th slippers. Those look pretty dang comfy, too. I don't see any Jason plush, and I don't recall ever seeing any. Hmm, same with the bobbleheads. I don't recall ever seeing a Jason bobblehead. I don't see any Friday the 13th doormats. Oh, but here is a Jason bouncy head pillow. Here's a Jason Friday the 13th. I wish it was Friday super plush throw. And here's another one down here. Friday the 13th, the day everyone fears, super plush throw. Ooh, we got the Jason two-piece pajamas. Yes, and the Friday the 13th lounge fly backpack with Jason's mask protruding from the top. What in the world do we have here? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> All right, that was unexpected. Someone dressed up as Crouchy working at the Spirit Halloween. All right, let's see if we can stay on track here and find some more Jason. I didn't really expect to see any Jason masks back here, but they do have a small selection down here. We've already seen those up front, though. Hello, rat. Have you seen Jason? Okay, surprisingly, I didn't see any Friday the 13th costumes in the kids section, but we're gonna check out all this stuff in here, starting with the Friday the 13th Jason mug right here. I can't even get it off. Never mind, I'm not gonna take it off. I don't wanna break it. But I actually have that mug. I don't see any Friday the 13th uh, shot glasses. I think we've already seen this pack of socks over there with the costumes. Now in this box of figural bag clips, I've already opened some of these at home. And I know for a fact they have a Jason in here, as well as a Friday the 13th video cover. Or maybe that's just supposed to be like the Friday the 13th poster, but regardless, they have it. Okay, look at this. These are not licensed, but these are like little machete earrings. Here we go. Here's a Jason snow globe. It's just a mini one, but it's pretty cool. Sparkly. Here we go, Camp Crystal Lake buttons. Oh, and here's one with Jason on it. Okay, so we already looked at this mug and I see another one on the bottom here. Check this one out. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. Friday the 13th, that is awesome. I was just about to give up on the mugs and then I saw this tumbler right here with Jason's face on it. Oh, here's another one. This is just a smaller tumbler. Friday the 13th and Jason's face. And here's one hiding down here. Oh, that's the Sanderson sisters, hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. Yes, Friday the 13th sour cherry candy cleavers. I bought one of these last year and ate them all, they're delicious. Here we go, Friday the 13th magnet with Jason's mask. Is that one? It looks like there might be two of them in there. Here we go, Friday the 13th little keychain here. Oh, there's a couple of them on there. Jason's face, welcome to Camp Blood, and the machete. Let me get you a picture of the machete. There you go. That is pretty dang cool right there. Here's another one shaped like one of those door keychains when you go to a little cheap hotel, which I know nothing about. Here we go. Here's a Friday the 13th lanyard. That's pretty cool. Jason standing in the boat, and then you get, this is the lanyard part, goes around your neck, and it's got big, uh, what the heck do you call those things, butcher knives on there, and then there's like a rubber Jason mask there. All right, I've been through this entire section here, guys. I think we've seen everything Friday the 13th, and I believe that includes everything Friday the 13th throughout this entire store. I've been through every single aisle around every corner and crack and crevice. Speaking of crack, 